Microsoft has just released this Natural Speech 3. This paper introduces this new system for creating speech through text. It addresses the challenge that despite big improvements, current text-to-speech or TTS technologies still don't produce speech that sounds completely natural or exactly like the speaker. The key idea behind Natural Speech 3 is to break down speech into smaller, manageable parts that include things like the words being said, the rhythm and tone and the unique sound of someone's voice, and the fine audio details. By focusing on these individual elements separately, the system can create speech that sounds more natural and clear. Natural Speech 3 uses a special approach to analyze and generate these parts of speech, which allows it to produce high-quality speech without needing examples to learn from each time. Tests have shown that Natural Speech 3 is better than other top TTS systems in making speech that sounds real and easy to understand. It also gets even better when it uses a huge amount of training data and a very complex model. If you look at this figure, this is a total overview of Natural Speech 3 with a neural speech codec for speech attribute, factorization and also factorized diffusion model. This is a cutting-edge system for natural and zero-shot text-to-speech synthesis with better speech quality, similarity and controllability. Now if you look at this figure, this figure consists of a neural speech codec then which is primarily for attribute disentanglement then there is a factorized diffusion model which generates factorized speech attributes since the speech waveform is complex and intricately encompasses various attributes these researchers have factorized speech into five attributes including duration prosody content acoustic details and timber specifically although the duration can be regarded as an aspect of prosody and they have chosen to model it explicitly due to their non-autoregressive speech generation design. They have also used their internal alignment tool to alignment speech and phenom and obtain phenom level duration. For other attributes, they have implicitly utilized the factorized neural speech codec to learn disentangled speech attribute subspaces which include content, prosody, acoustic details and timber. Then they have used the factorized diffusion model to generate each speech attribute representation. Finally, they have employed the codec decoder to reconstruct the waveform with the generated speech attributes. Now, if you look at this diagram, this is where this codec is uh, in more detail. So this is a proposition in this paper which is about a factorized neural speech codec that is also called FA codec to convert complex speech waveform into disentangled subspaces representing speech attribute of content, prosody, timber and acoustic details and reconstruct high quality speech waveform from these. So there is a lot of detail which you can read through the paper and I will drop the link in video's description. There are a lot of good details, you know, scattered throughout this paper. So the whole crux of the idea between this paper is that they have developed this TTS system that consists of a novel neural speech codec with factorized vector quantization to decompose speech waveform into distinct subspecies of content, prosody, acoustic detail and timber. Secondly, they have also introduced a uh, novel factorized diffusion model to synthesize speech by generating attributes in subspaces with discrete diffusion. Natural Speech 3 outperforms the state of the art TTS system on speech quality, similarity, prosody and intelligibility. The, the researchers have also shown that Natural Speech 3 can en enable speech attribute manipulation by customizing speech attribute prompts. Also, they have demonstrated that Natural Speech 3 achieves better performance by scaling to 1 billion parameter and 200k hours of training data. There is a lot of other stuff in this model and you can read it at your leisure but really hats off to all of these researchers who have done a fabulous work on this one. 
that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it i will drop the link to this paper in video's description very keen to see in fruition let's see what sort of models come out of it there there's no model at the moment so for example if you go to hugging face page you will see that still there are no models uh, citing this paper as you can see here and also i have i wasn't able to find any data set i think one reason might be that it was just released today few hours ago so we are still very very new in this one so let's wait as soon as any model is released as uh, on the basis of this i will uh, be showing you um, how it play out let me know what do you think if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching